Shalom and welcome to Financial PowerPoints. You know, this year, have you ever thought about having a plan to train your senses? You know, train uh, uh, your senses. Even like if you think of the sense of smell, you smell an apple pie, you know that that's an apple pie. You, you smell a turkey cooking, you know that that's turkey. You know when you go by a pizza place, you go, oh, there's a pizza. One of my favorite senses is when you're in the airport and you get near the Cinnabon, you can smell it a long way off and you definitely know that it's not Taco Bell, it's the Cinnabon. That's trained senses, but do you know that you can train your senses in the spirit? And one of the ways you train your senses in the spirit is by what you eat spiritually. In Hebrews 5 and 13 and 14, it says, for everyone who uses milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness. And so, so many times people say, oh, I'm battling this sin lifestyle and I'm paying for this sin debt and I'm always making bad choices and I'm always falling, I'm always repenting. Have you ever thought about the fact, the reason that you're always falling and you're always having to repent and you're unsuccessful is because your spiritual senses are not acute to warn you before you make the bad choices because you're not eating meat. The scripture goes on to say, Be strong, meat belongs to them who are full age, even those by, for by reason have used their senses and exercise to discern both good and evil. How can you discern what's good and evil according to the Bible if you're not studying the Bible? That's one of the reasons we started Financial PowerPoints is because if you do it every day, that inconsistency lies the victory. Two minutes and 30 seconds, you're going to get a word from God that is going to heighten your senses for that day to say, you know what, if I don't eat meat, if I don't understand, you know, a lot of times in life, you don't have time to sit back and go, gosh, I wonder what God would want me to do. If you're studying the word on a regular basis and you're full of meat, then what happens is you have just like a computer computer, your spiritual search engine, your senses can go in and say, I will do this and I won't do that. But that comes at a price and that price comes at your time. So this year, strengthen your senses so that when evil comes, you can smell it like the Cinnabon and say, oh, I know what that smell is. And when good comes, you can smell it also and say, okay, that's the path I'm to walk in. And by doing that, you have to put a foundation of the word under your life. I'll see you tomorrow.